the toxicity, the controlling, the jealousy. Am I toxic? Yeah. <laughs> We're tired from fighting with you all night. <laughs> Go home! This is my home. I, I can't even leave. <laughs> then I will leave. I will leave. Self-sabotage at its finest. Awesome! So, are Brandon and Mary really expecting their second baby? I saw that rumor circling around on Instagram after they posted this picture. And supposedly, Mary cleared this up, saying no. So, this is, I guess, from her first pregnancy. But that got me thinking, why would she be posting this when she's probably already had the baby? You know, besides just to get attention. I also wonder this because there was also this rumor that Mary and Brandon got fired at one point by TLC. Does anyone else remember that? I mean, I'm not opposed to that firing. These two are already well on their way to becoming worse than Paul and Karini. And I don't think that being on the show will help their toxic behavior at all. They get attention for it, so it'll probably just make it worse. <laughs> if you don't remember that rumor that they were fired for spoiling their season, that's okay. This season has been dragging on forever. I have absolutely no idea how many episodes they're even trying to air either. But pretty much what happened was early on in the season, Mary and Brandon spoiled their storyline. His mom also posted pictures of their wedding, and it also got out that they were having a baby. Spoilers have happened quite a few times with couples, but it seemed like Mary and Brandon did this almost intentionally. Yet, more recently, I no longer believe that Brandon and Mary were actually fired. I actually think that the opposite is going on. I mean, maybe they got in trouble or there was some sort of consequence, but I noticed something kind of weird on their social media accounts. Like the whole pregnancy thing. They are posting things now as they are airing on the show. Or at least I think that's what they're doing. And I'm saying this because on their social media accounts, they aren't posting like the end of her pregnancy and they aren't showing the baby. These episodes were filmed ahead of time. That baby has to have been born by now. And after that whole weird exploiting that rescued monkey thing happened, it made them seem really desperate. And I think that if the show really did fire them, that they would already be posting something about the baby on social media. If they're not under a TLC contract, why haven't they posted anything about the baby? It just really wouldn't surprise me if they used the baby to get attention on social media. I don't want them to do that. I don't think they should do that. But if they really are as much like Paul and Carini as I think they are, I think that we will see the kid on social media at some point. I just am surprised they haven't already done it. I think we will see that kid on TikTok, on Instagram, the show, and I'm now thinking future shows. I think this because it seems like now they're following rules of not posting certain things yet. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I could also see that maybe they did actually get fired, but maybe even the network had changed their mind. It seems like they're having a really hard time finding couples that go the other way and stay the other way. Miss Clairvoyant and her husband, I think, are already done. Danielle and Johan are done. I could see why they would want to keep Mary and Brandon on, even though they are idiots. So yeah. I really don't think that this is their last season, but I do hope that we are getting to the end of this season. It feels like it's been very long, but I think we're getting close because in the last two episodes, we're finally getting to the wedding. But there have definitely been a lot of bumps in the road as that day approaches. Initially, one of those bumps was Brandon's mom coming to stay with them for the wedding. Bringing Brandon's mom into this already toxic and hard to watch dynamic started off awkward. The way she looks at me like she's so mean, like a mean girl. I mean, Brandon is the happiest we've seen him in a while. Yeah, here's mac and cheese, can of chili. But Mary is not. And she's been getting real frustrated with Brandon not only looking at another girl, but now also defending another girl because he's not even supposed to look at any girls. Don't look at girls, okay? Like I told you even though this girl is his mom. But even though Brandon's mom definitely hasn't been my favorite since the show aired, she's actually annoying me a lot less than I thought she would. At first, I thought I was just so sick of Mary's whining that everyone seems less annoying, but his mom handles the frog leg prank well. Yeah, it's frog. Oh, well, that makes me feel better, actually. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, I was frog. Yeah, it's frog. I don't care so much about frogs. Now that's not a big deal. She just overall seems like she's trying to support Brandon. I know that they have had a very hard road to rebuilding their relationship, especially since his mom is only 18 months sober. And Brandon has a lot of trauma from her addiction and even being removed from her care. They take me, my brother, and my sister away. And that whole time I was in denial of my mom being a drug addict. 
I'm sure that he has some very deep issues that he probably still can't even process. And yet here he is at 23 years old, trying not to repeat the cycle with a new baby on the way. And I'm glad that his mom is there to be realistic with both of them, especially since they have a baby on the way. We haven't seen a whole lot of direct interactions with Mary's grandparents, so I don't think that anyone besides Brandon's mom has actually like stepped in and really questioned Brandon and Mary's relationship. They are technically adults, but these two have proven to not have a lot of emotional maturity. They need some sort of guidance besides being told to just get married. They chose to try to get pregnant over condoms and therapy. Someone needs to step in and help them grow up. And it seems like Brandon's mom is going to have to take on that role at least temporarily while she's here. And so far, she seems to be doing a pretty good job. She listens to Brandon when he asks her to try to bond with Mary. I understand what you're saying. So I will try to build a healthy relationship with Mary. I really appreciate that. She even recommends individual therapy to both of them to help them not repeat the cycle of the issues they have. When you haven't dealt with all the things that you grew up learning, it just becomes this repeated pattern. Mary even seemed to take that pretty well and agreed to do that along with Brandon. And thank God someone pushed therapy. But we can only hope that they actually go and do it. I really, really hope that they do the therapy and the counseling because I worry for the environment that the child's going to grow up in. Yeah, you and me both. They do have a sweet moment when they do their gender reveal. If it's a girl, Brandon will smash cake in Mary's face. And if it's a boy, Mary will smash cake in Brandon's face. I don't think I've ever hoped more for a couple to have a boy. But surprise, it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's a girl. And I keep asking myself, will Brandon be able to even look at her? <laughs> this is how bad the jealousy with them has been. I actually have to ask that out loud. That happy moment does not last though, because the day before the wedding, Brandon and Mary have a huge fight over money. I'm really worried and I'm now at my 50-50 marrying Brandon because I don't want to live with a man like that. And Brandon's mom is the one that steps in to help them figure this out. This was a moment when I had to remember that these two are in their 20s. Because this whole fight just makes them sound like two teenagers, not two adults getting married and having a baby. He's just too focused on playing games. I don't know why he's like that. I will be more than happy to discuss with him the amount of time he plays on his damn video games. This woman came all the way to the Philippines to tell her adult son to stop playing video games too much. I'm telling you, therapy and condoms could have saved this entire situation. But no, they just had to try to have a baby. After seeing her smile when she said she had baby fever and then found out she was pregnant, she is still not a victim to me at all. And now that I think about it, the baby has been the only thing planned. They didn't have their finances planned. They didn't have a backup plan planned. Their income had no plan. There was no jobs planned. Nothing. His whole thing was, I don't care, mom. I just need to be with her. And that's romantic and all, but that is not what you can survive on. And now Mary is miserable and crying about this. Self-sabotage at its finest. Good grief, Mary. Isn't this what you wanted? So it's the day before their wedding in this scene. The day before. And now Mary is saying to Brandon's mom that she doesn't know if she wants to marry Brandon. I get having cold feet, it's the night before, but this is exactly what Mary wanted. She locked down Brandon. Can you imagine your life and raising this baby without him? This was such a serious moment and question to ask, but all I could think about in this scene was, well, if he moves back to the U.S., then she really wins because then he won't be able to look at the baby. Don't look at girls. I mean, now we know that the baby really is a girl. <sighs> I'm going to hell. Sapa and Shekina want to remind you to subscribe to the Kibbles channel. If you don't, Sapa will appear and give you an exotic AI-generated dance. I know that I love Brandon. Um, I just need reassurance for the future. Yeah, you need a partner.
Mm -hmm. So after talking to Brandon's mom, Mary has decided that she does want to marry Brandon. I mean, they spoiled that for us. We knew a wedding was going to happen. I will say, though, I do hope that Brandon's mom can continue to stay sober and support them. She actually did a good job when she was here. So, I'm ready to get married. (laughs) I guess we'll just have to see if that continues because they are going to need a lot of support and the baby is going to need a lot of support as well. And on the next episode, the wedding day is finally here. But it comes with a big swarm of bugs that come rolling in. There's hundreds of bugs everywhere. Is this like a biblical level protest of their marriage? (laughs) Just kidding. Sort of. Let me know what you think of this couple. I really don't think that this is the last season we will see them on. And I do hope that they don't turn out as bad or worse than Paul and Karini, but their chances really don't seem great. As much as Brandon's mom is providing some good support, she lives across the world. And she's also going through a journey with her own sobriety. I don't think that she can take on all the support that they need, especially far away. These two are going to have to figure out how to financially support themselves and survive. That alone has been really hard for them. We will know if it's taking a turn for the worse if they start an OnlyFans like Paul and Karini did. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. The season, I think, is almost over, so we will have to see how the rest of this season plays out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!